This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today, we're gonna to talk about bed bugs. I wanna go over heat treatments and I wanna give some exact reasons why you maybe are thinking about doing a heat treatment for bed bugs and why you may wanna rethink that idea. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So, lately, I've gotten a lot of messages on my videos talking about why uh, heat treatments, why, why don't I talk about heat treatments and why don't I uh, give more advice on when to treat for heat. And I actually had a man call me a call last week. He's a local exterminator and he, uh, he doesn't do heat treatments, but his, his customers were requesting that one be done and that that's what they wanted to do. They were requesting it. They weren't going to go with a chemical treatment. They weren't going to do anything but heat. That's what they wanted. And so he called me because he assumed I did heat treatments because I am the bed bug guy. That's what people know me as. And I said, no, I don't do heat treatments because they don't work, because they aren't effective, and because uh, the customer's not happy. You know, you charge the customer two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 to go in their house and do a heat treatment, and then three or four days later, they're itching with bed bug bites again. Like, you were never there. And he's like, I know, I know, but they're insistent that they want a heat treatment. So I decided to make this video. I, uh, I want to go over some simple facts about heat and why people think that heat is the only option for bed bugs and why those ideas actually are not true. If you, like I said, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, and if you really like it, subscribe to the channel. It really does help a lot. I really appreciate everybody coming out to my live streams on Thursdays. Uh, if you ever have a question you wanna ask me, don't hesitate, leave a comment below, or stop by on my live stream if you want to call me. I do accept calls at that time from people through YouTube, and I can go over some things with you, maybe even do a Google search or two and show you, uh, you know, anything about pest control, whether it's bed bugs, cockroaches, ants, whatever it might be. So um, the guy called me and, and like I said, the customer was insistent that a heat treatment be done. Why are people so determined to do a heat treatment? They're very expensive. Um, that's one of the biggest drawbacks to a heat treatment is because they are so expensive. You spend a lot of money, but I just said they don't work. Why did I say that? Exterminators are offering it. It must work, right? Uh, so many companies do it. In fact, there are areas in the, uh, in the United States where you'll be hard pressed to find anyone that doesn't do heat treatments. It's, you'll call 10 or 15 names out of the book and all of them will say, well, heat's the only way to go. That's all that we do. And the problem is, is that I go behind a lot of these heat treatment guys. I actually have to repair the damages. I have to hear the horror stories. I have to witness how they didn't work. Um, and, you know, like I said, I do chemical treatment. That's what I do. I don't do Vicane. Uh, this is not a gas treatment video. We're not going to talk about gas or Vicane, but I don't do Vicane. I don't do heat treatments. I do chemical application. It's the way I've fought bed bugs for over 23 years of my life. This is the way I've always killed them is with a chemical. Uh, heat is a newer option for bed bugs. It's only been around for a few years. And, uh, the reason that I actually became a YouTube video person, whatever you want to call me, is because of heat treatments. I went to a house out at Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. It's a place a lot of people visit here. A lot of uh, you know people travel in and out of Smith Mountain Lake, a lot of tourists and stuff like that. And it's a big mansion on the lake. It's like probably a million dollar house. It's a really expensive home. And the, a company came in price to heat treatment and of course the guy thought that was the only option because of course the salesman's going to push heat treatments they make a lot of uh, commission off of a heat treatment they want you to buy a heat treatment 
And so they charged him $3,500 to come out and heat treat his house. It's a huge house. It's not a little like apartment complex. It's not a you know single family home. You could probably fit three single family homes in this man's house. It's a really, really large, large house. And uh, surprise, surprise, they were there all day long. The company was there about eight to 10 hours all day uh, heat treating this man's house. Three days after the heat treatment was done, the bed bugs came out and bit the man while he was asleep. I mean, he had to be gone for a couple days while they were doing the heat treatment anyway. And so when he came back and slept in the bed, the bed bugs came out and ate him. So he called the company and he said, I need you to come out here. I need you to fix this problem. You just charged me $3,500 to do this heat treatment and uh, it didn't work. I'm still getting bitten by bed bugs. You need to come out here and fix your problem. And the guy said, oh, yeah, sure enough, you do still have bed bugs because the guy came back out to the house and he went over and he inspected the house and he said, yeah, you do still have them. Well, we can come back out here. We can do another heat treatment and we'll only charge you two grand this time. We'll give you $1,500 off of the price of the heat treatment. And so, of course, the man was stunned. He couldn't believe that he just spent $3,500 and this man was now trying to push a $2,000 heat treatment on him, which is, you know, if you're doing the math, Almost six thousand dollars. You know, fifty-five hundred dollars later, the man is in the hole, and he doesn't want to do a heat treatment again because it didn't work the first time. Why doesn't the guy pick a different option? Why doesn't he come in and spray? Why doesn't he do something different? It's obvious heat is not working because it didn't work. It didn't work. He still has bed bugs. So he called me. I went out. I did a chemical treatment, and to the best of my knowledge, he hasn't had bed bugs since. And that was over five years ago. It's five, six years ago. Um, he got them from a renter that rented his house uh, for a vacation at Smith Mountain Lake. That's how he developed the bed bug problem. It wasn't a heavy infestation. It was actually a very mild infestation. But what bed bugs do is they go into the wall and they hide in the wall, in the insulation. And the insulation is going to keep the heat out. It's not going to allow the heat to penetrate through the wall. It keeps it nice and cool in there. It creates cool pockets for the bed bugs to survive in. And so that is what bed bugs do. You can go on Google and you could do a simple Google search and in less than five minutes you can find pictures of bed bug droppings and bed bugs living around wall outlets, light switch covers, curtain rod holes where the rods are actually drilled into the wall. You can find these pictures of bed bugs living in the wall and pooping all around these places and going and squeezing into the wall. Bed bugs like to squeeze into a crack or a crevice. It's in their natural desire. It's why when you search your bed and you go looking all over your bed, you actually find bed bugs squeezed in a seam or underneath a staple on the box spring or maybe even around your uh, you know, your bed frame where your frame actually screws together. I find this a lot on wooden beds where the, the joints of the wood meet, where the screws hold the bed together. A lot of times you'll find bed bugs there. They like to squeeze into a crack or a crevice. And so it's in their natural desire to go into these places. And if the bed is pushed up against the wall, well, they're going to go in the wall. Those are the places the bed bugs like to hide. So why do people want these heat treatments done? Because the salesman explains to the customer that it is the fastest, quickest way to get relief. You know, Rolaids used to have a commercial, and they used to, this is when I, I'm going to age myself now. Rolaids used to preach that, you know, if you buy their product, Rolaid spells relief R O L A I D S spells relief all right because they wanted to sell you a product for acid reflux and indigestion that worked instantly people don't want to wait until their you know heartburn is gone they want it gone right now they wanted it gone yesterday they never wanted it in the first place and it hurts and they want it gone now so Rolaid spells relief that's the way they used to sell Rolaids and a lot of these exterminators sell heat treatments by selling relief, instant relief, instant gratification. Look, you get us in here, we'll do this heat treatment in a day. They'll all be gone. You don't have to worry about bed bugs anymore. They're all going to be gone and dead. It's going to be fantastic. You'll be so happy and you won't be able to get bit tonight. You'll be able to sleep safe. 
and it'll be just wonderful. And why would you choose anything else? If it works, you know, it sounds good. It sounds really good, honestly. I will tell you right now, to me, it sounds good. I don't want bed bugs biting me in the bed. I don't want them crawling all over me and chewing me up. Because if you call me and you get a, a estimate from me, I'm going to tell you right out. I'm going to say, well, I use Crossfire. Crossfire is a non-repellent pesticide. The bed bugs don't know anything's been done. So when I treat the mattress and the box spring and the bed frame, you are the cheese to the mouse bait. You are the trap. You are the bait to the trap. So the bugs are going to come out to bite you. That's what they want to do. They are going to come out to bite you. And they might still bite you. But they're going to crawl over a treated bed. They're going to crawl over the legs. They're going to crawl over the places where I've applied the pesticide to get to you. You're the bait to the trap. And then they die. And within a few weeks, they're all dead. What sounds better to you? Dead bed bugs tomorrow or dead bed bugs in a month? You know, you're going to have to bait them out. They're going to have to crawl out to get you. They're going to, you know, they make you nervous thinking about having bugs coming out crawling on you while you're sleeping at night. It's not a good feeling. That's, that's, that's the reason. That's the number one, number one reason that people pick a, uh, a heat treatment over a chemical application. Well, let me explain to you. I just told you why heat doesn't work. But the price of a chemical treatment is typically a third of the price of a heat treatment. You figure on $3,500 is what that man was charged to heat his house. And you could get a liquid treatment for a thousand bucks, maybe even less. Some exterminators do it even less than that. Um, now, I'm not talking trying, you know, you do get what you pay for. So you need to, you know, ask a lot of questions. Just because an exterminator is cheap doesn't mean he's going to do the job right. And so, you know, you ask, what are you using? What are you coming in my house and spraying? How long are you going to be here? Do you have guys helping you? Like me and my son, my son's sitting right here beside me. We do bed bug jobs together. We can knock a bed bug job out 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. Doesn't take very long with two people. But when you're going in there and you're turning over furniture, you're flipping mattresses upside down, you're flipping box springs upside down, you're turning over couches, love seat recliners. Um, you know, it's a lot of work. And you figure you go in and you do a, be, uh, a house with four or five bedrooms, you're there for a long time, even with two people. Typically, we will go in and we'll turn over the largest bed in the house. I will treat the bed and my son will go through and he'll get the rest of the furniture ready to treat, or at least what he can get through the, the smaller stuff. And we always work on the big stuff together as a team. And that way, you know, one of us isn't going to you know, throw out their back, which is typically me because I'm older quite a bit than he is but um but anyway that, that's why i do chemical treatment because it saves the customer a lot of money it's much more effective you know that's the problem where it does take a little while and it, it, it's it's irritating to me you know if if i could get rid of the bed bugs instantly and cause my customer much more happiness they're going to be happier if i get rid of them right away um then of course I'm going to do that. That's the option I'm going to choose because that's the smartest decision as a business owner. That's what I want to do. I want to have satisfied customers so they continue to tell their friends and family about me. Yeah, I may work myself out of a job. I may not have to go back to their house and spray for bed bugs again, but they'll tell their friends and their family that they may have received bed bugs from. Hey, call Jason. He's going to get rid of your bed bugs. He got rid of my bed bugs and he was a third of the price of the competition. You know, that's good. That sounds good to me, you know. But yes, it does It does take a few weeks. But if you're patient, you're going to get rid of them. And fleas are the same way. To give an example, a lot of people will call me and they, they expect the fleas to be dead tomorrow. And fleas have to hatch out of eggs. Bed bugs have to hatch out of eggs. You know, that's one thing that people don't think about with these heat treatments is if a bed bug has gone into the wall, in the wall of your house, and laid eggs in the wall. One, eggs need a higher heat treatment threshold to die. All right, adults die at 118 degrees. The eggs die 
at 125 degrees. So it has to get much hotter to kill the eggs. And not only that, it needs to be so hot in the room in order for even the surface of the wall, the, the sheetrock on the other side of the heat treatment, um, to get hot enough to kill bugs. And like I said, they're gonna burrow into the insulation unless the eggs are laid directly on the sheetrock, which usually they are not. They're usually laid in a crack somewhere. Um, it's just not, it, it, none of it makes logical sense. You're gonna destroy your pictures. You're gonna destroy your television sets. You're gonna destroy your appliances. You know, these are things that get damaged during a heat treatment. Not only that, you're gonna sign a waiver. You're gonna tell the exterminator, I understand the risks. I understand that this is a problem and so be it, destroy my house, just get rid of these bed bugs. And that just doesn't make logical sense. You know, it doesn't make sense to destroy your house over bug bites. Bed bugs do not carry pathogens. They do not make you sick. They don't carry any kind of illness or disease. They are annoying. You know, you're more likely to get sick from a mosquito than a bed bug. Bed bugs won't kill you. They'll just annoy you until they're dead. And that's why I'm saying it, it doesn't make common sense to me to destroy half of your home and you know a lot of these exterminators will require you to take your belongings out of your house if you've got a TV or a high you know a high dollar you know, let's say some picture frames let's say you've got pictures of your family memories on the wall and they'll say well you need to remove those from the house or the heat will destroy them and then what if there's a bed bug living behind your picture frame and you take it out of the house and then you take it put it back in the house as soon as the heat's off you know these are things you need to think about when you do a heat treatment. This is what happens. These are one of the reasons, these are a lot of reasons. I'm giving you lots of reasons why heat treatments are ineffective. So anyway, I hope I've explained why you do not want to go the route of a heat treatment. I believe with all of my heart that this heat treatment's push is a fad. Uh, it's something that's gonna pass. It's something people are gonna stop doing. It's not very effective. Uh, I don't care what their numbers are. They've been fudged. They're not true. Um, I'm finding maybe the effectiveness of a heat treatment about 65%. Um, they will claim 97, 98%, sometimes even 92, 93%. But that's not true. The, you get more results from a chemical treatment than you do a heat treatment. Um, and like I said, not just any chemical, because bed bugs do develop a resistance to pesticides. But, you know, Crossfire works for me. That's what I use. Some exterminators use Temperate. Some exterminators use Apprehend. Uh, Alpine WSG, that's another pesticide people use for bed bugs. Um, they're all effective in their own way. Heat's not effective. It's just not, not to the point that they can charge you as much as they do. Yeah, I could kind of understand doing a heat treatment if it was quite a bit less because of the high risk of failure. Um, maybe do a heat treatment, but at the prices they charge for heat and the rate of success, it's just not worth the money. So hopefully you guys will come and visit me on my live streams every Thursday night. Usually after 930 is when I start streaming because my children go to bed. I'm a father of four. And so my kids have to be in bed before I can live stream because, you know, kids, they loud. And, uh, but anyway, come check me out. All the pesticides that I mentioned in all of my videos are, are uh, actually listed on an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Um, you know, I always urge people to price check around, try to find the cheapest price. You don't have to buy from my Amazon page, but it's just a place there where you can find the stuff you need to use to get rid of bed bugs on your own. You do not need to hire an exterminator to get rid of bed bugs. You can do it on your own. It may take a couple shots, you know, it's not gonna be as effective as someone like me. I'm a professional, I've been doing it all my life, but you can get rid of bed bugs on your own. Just be patient, stick to it, and uh, you can do this. We can do this. That's why I've got this channel. I'm here to help you. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And like I said, come visit me on my live streams and we'll talk about it. Y'all have a good one. I appreciate it. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more videos like this one. And if you like if you like this type of content, let me know in the comments. If I forgot something, 
if I didn't list something here that you think, you know, he should have listed that, then tell me in the comments below, and I'll make another video addressing it. Y'all have a great day, great life, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I really appreciate it, and hopefully we'll kick this bed bug thing in the bud. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.